Greetings everyone and welcome back to Kenji, where, as you can see, I have Avak, Ruka, and Manu all ready to go on a bit of an adventure. Right, in the uh, time since the last episode, a couple of days have passed in which I've allowed some research to go on and getting a couple of jobs done as well. As you can see, it is day 24, very, very early morning. But let's quickly go over what has changed. In terms of tech, uh, not too much has changed in that regard, honestly. We've got a, a few little odds and sods upgrading. We've mostly just been stockpiling um, books ready for future um, future research more than anything else. So not too much has gone on there. We do have a fair bit of uh, training having been done though, and specifically if we check out Hobbs, we can see that Hobbs has got lock picking up to 13. Stealth is also at 41, Athletics is at 46, and Strength and Toughness is uh, quite, quite good. He's got a very balanced melee uh, attack and defense, which I'm actually really happy with. Miss Minnie, has got a toughness of 10, strength of 7, has, well, her melee defense is lagging behind her attack, but her attack has increased considerably, and that I'm very, very happy for. Let's have a look over at Ruka. Ruka's currently got a stealth of 56 and athletics of 57. It's got a max run speed of 93. It'll never be that high, but that is just, that is just bonkers. Absolute bonkers. Melee defense of 19 and a melee attack of 17. Ruka is very, very seriously one of our, our better characters Overall, I must say, strength of 18, toughness of 19, dexterity of 12, all looking very good. Manu, uh, not quite as impressive, but certainly very, very high up there. Athletics of 44 and stealth of 35. And if we have a look over at Avak, again, not amazing, but toughness is, is starting to get up there, which I'm somewhat pleased with. Melee attack of 15 and melee defense of 12. But with that, I think we're ready to head out. We are going to first, um, well, let's start off by just actually heading into the bar here and seeing if we can sell off some items. Hello there. Uh, have we got any new individuals here? No, not really. Uh, the bar has suffered a couple of problems. You may notice that there isn't a... Uh, <laughs> yeah, I think taking his armor and weapons may have been a bad move. There is now only one ninja guard, and the barman has on occasion been knocked out. We have done our best to uh, pick up defense of, of the tower, and I think I've even set up the AI now to heal allies and help allies and rescue allies wherever possible. Uh, but yeah, the hub... Well, yeah, that was a bit short-sighted of me. We are reaping, reaping the uh, the rewards for our scallywaggery. Uh, anyway, so uh, have we got anything to sell? I, I might actually buy some of these books. Uh, I think so, yes. It's, can I grab them? There we go. Grab all of those. Now, if we have a look up here, we should be able to sell everything across. 18 electrical components. Let's uh, move those over. We're going to get a nice little bit of mark up there. Very nice indeed. And as for copper, uh, there's no copper there at the moment. Fair enough. We, we've run our copper supplies down quite aggressively. But that should be fine. I'm going to grab some metal plates though. And I'll just grab the, 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 the metal plates. We're not going to grab anything else there. Right, let's quickly go and drop these things off. And also prepare ourselves for our trek. We're going to need some uh, money and, and food. We've got a decent amount of money, I think. So that shouldn't be too much of a problem. Actually, first, let me find... There we are, the metal plate. And drop all of these in there. There we go. We'll also drop off all of the books. There we are. We've got a nice little selection of books there now. Actually, I'm, I'm fairly happy with that. And then we're going to want to grab a decent amount of food. But let's go for things that are a little bit more beneficial. These food cubes are very good for the amount of nutrition they offer. Uh, as far as fish, um, yeah, I, I'd in fact say that fish were also pretty solid options. Uh, in fact, let's grab another two. There we go. So we've got plenty of food in our backpack there as well. So with that, our little group is going to head out. We've got a lot of places that we can, we can visit. We've got a couple of way stations down here. We've got AdMag. I would like to go to Squin and see if we can't pick up a couple of um, new recruits. That's going to be 
the primary reason for it, what where are you going manu manu please walk 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 with with the group i oh my lord uh it doesn't matter if you walk without riven as long as you walk with the group i do not mind Let's uh, just let them all group up again before we send them out. So there we go. Let's head on down to Squin. We want to see if there are a couple of recruits down there. That's the primary purpose of today's episode is getting some, some new recruits. Secondary, we're going to go and explore. We've, we've got a, a good base set up as is. I don't think we really need to, to worry too much about anything else. I'm not going to be prioritizing getting any prisoners anytime soon because I imagine micromanaging prisoners for training is a whole lot of effort and I'd rather have that once we've got a, a proper base set up that I'm going to be, uh, be pouring over a lot of the time and, and we can really, really focus on that for a while. Uh, which way are we going? Oh, we are still heading out there. I wonder, are there any places nearby Squin? Where I might want to set up a base. It doesn't look like there's anything particularly nice around here, though. I'll be perfectly honest. This place looks uh, pretty, pretty open, and I want something that's a little bit more defensible overall. That would be my goal there. Uh, what kind of protection do you have, Manu? Uh, you got no dust storm protection at all, which is a bit of a, a shame. If I'm perfectly honest, but yeah, this this whole area looks really, really exposed. I'm not particularly interested in that. Now, I have noticed that whilst there is a more direct route that goes up over hills, I've no ooh, let's pause that there. What have we got over here? Escaped servants. Have we got any issue with escaped servants? Um Holy Nation Outlaws. No, we're we're on reasonably uh good terms with the Holy Nation Outlaws, so let's let's not bother them. Honestly I wanna stop managing my uh my interaction with the different factions a bit more actively. Whilst I don't really mind if the Dust Bandits consider me an enemy, and uh, even uh, going so far as saying the Starving Bandits, I don't really, really mind that one too much. I do care if the other factions start regarding me as an overall threat. Let's uh, slow down a little bit now that we've actually arrived. I didn't really see anywhere that was particularly interesting out and about. Uh, how about you guys follow, instead of all moving as a group, I think, who is the fastest amongst us? You can move at a speed of 22, my lord. You move at run 19, you move at 19 as well. Really? You move at 22? How the dickens do you manage that? I, I would have assumed that you were heavily laden. Uh, smuggling checks, open your bags. O outcast? Wow, that's harsh. You think me a Sheik, warrior, a smuggler? Humility. Um, no, I'm not going to let you... Well, maybe... Uh, we're going to chew on our tongue for this one. Show them your gear. Go. Fine, fine, fine. But I'm really surprised that, that Avak is able to run that quickly. I'm shocked by that, in fact. I guess he's got very light equipment, though. But I would have assumed that that would have uh, made him reasonably heavy. Uh, you're considered weightless as well, but you're not running nearly as quickly. Uh, as are you, you are also considered weightless, but you've got a, a malice due to your armor. But still, why is Avax so much faster? Is his athletics better? No. No, his athletics is not better, not by a large margin. Well, I don't quite understand it, but I accept it all the same. Alright, let's get into Squin. We've got a couple of things that we want to do. There are a couple of places we could easily purchase down here in Squin, but that isn't my that isn't my goal. That isn't my reason for being here. Not today, at the very least. We've got a bar there. We've got a general trader over yonder. We could also pick up a new backpack for Ruka. And if Ruka is wandering around out here with us uh, as as one of the main sort of adventurers, then I think that might be be worth it. We've got a couple of people in here. Who have we got? We've got Nines, who is a drifter. Vladskin, the city isn't for you. We've got a Shack Warrior, the Shack Kingdom. Making announcement. Oh, I like that goal. Got Khaled the Drifter. We've got a diplomatic pacifier, flotsam ninjas. The Wall, who is also a drifter. With the shop guard. And Namtram. Uh, also a drifter. Most of them relaxing social. Well, let's go and 
have a talk to this guy. Uh, you, you gonna have a go at me? Run along, pitiful shrimp, before you get trampled on. Ah, just running your mouth then, sitting back down. My lord, not even, not even worth my time. Alright, let's have a quick talk with you then. Let's see. Hmm? Well, now I would like to have a look. Well, uh, nothing really that I want to take then. Okay, fine. Alright, well, let's start having a, a chat around. Who are you? Nines. Hmm? Looking to team up? You think I would follow Flatskin? Do not make me laugh! Hmm, okay. Well, let's try, try a different approach then. Mano, have a chat. Hmm? Looking to band up? Correct! 6,000 cats! Oh, we can definitely afford it. I wouldn't mind another another shack. Deal. Let's have a look at you then. All right, Nines. First and foremost, your name is not Nines. It is, in fact, Big Al. Welcome, Big Al, and thank you once again for your continued support on Patreon. Uh, well, I'm, again, I'm just going to leave characters as they are. If anyone really, really wants me to change anything in particular, then you can ask me to do that once you have been named, and we'll see about taking some notes uh, and then using a plastic surgeon at some later point. But Big Al joins the group. Let's have a quick look at you then, Big Al. Uh, strength 5. Uh, you've got fairly low athletics, but right now you move at a reasonable speed. Your armor is helping you there. Got some field medic. Uh, some engineering as well. Okay. Okay. Not, not terribly bad. Let's have a look at you. You are currently using a topper, which is a katana class. It's fairly weighty one. A hybrid between a katana and a saber. It has a top-heavy uh, balance that feels odd to a katana user, hence the name. It's fast and has a similar reach to a nodashi. A mostly forgotten weapon in modern times, it was once popular among mercenaries of the old empire. It has generally um, just negatives to the way it works, which is a shame, but uh, okay. Well, welcome, Big Al. Uh, who else do we have around here? We've got... Someone there we can talk to. Anyone else we can talk to? We do have Namtran. Okay, you're relaxing. But first, before we do that, we've got... You're a diplomat. Okay, so we're not going to... Ooh, the, the wall. What an interesting name you have there. Okay. Well, let's have Manu go and talk with the wall next. Let's have a, have a quick chat with you. Here for fresh recruits, outsider. Maybe. Got any skills? Yes, I'm a field medic. Ooh. Ooh, you've got my attention now. Sure, how much? My price is 6,000 cats. Well, I'm all right with it. That's why we came up with so much money. That still leaves us with about uh, 8,000 cats. Deal. Okay, so the wall has also joined us. You shall be Matt. Welcome to the team, Matt. All right. Let's have a look at, at Matt then. Uh, oh my lord, you really are a good field medic. This skill saves lives and allows you to stop bleeding wounds and jerry-rigging critical injuries, allowing characters to continue fighting when they shouldn't. In the long term, however, major injuries require bed rest. A beginner will not only heal wounds more slowly, but will use up all of their med kits really quickly. That's fantastic, but you're not a fighter. Oof. That's not good. That is not good. That is actually kind of rubbish. Still... I'm all right with it, I guess. Let's have a have a look at your inventory. You've got a good med kit. You've got a katana. Okay. All right. So we've got two new new people in our party. That's kind of useful. Uh, let's get you guys together first, though. First and foremost, well, as Matt is not strictly going to be in the fight directly, I'm going to pass along this gigantic backpack to Matt. There we go, Matt. You can carry the, the bedroll along with some med kits as well. Uh, we'll pop that med kit in there. Uh, Ruka is now a little bit more free. In fact, let me move that med kit over to Ruka because it'll stack with the one that she's got. Big Al, uh, you're all right for now. Okay, we're going to need to get you guys some better equipment. I, I'm actually going to keep you with me rather than, than send you out for now. Uh, we could send you back to base, though. That is definitely an option. Right, let's have a look in here. Greetings, customers. Hello, hello, hello. Who have we got here? Gills. No faction. All right. Anyone else in here? Okay, then, Gills. Perhaps we will have a word with you. Abba, go and have a quick chat with Gills. Huh? 
Ah, uh, how does that feel? Uh, could be worse, but then I guess could be better. Well, we've got a new settlement. We don't really worry about it. Not fire, it's well protect. That's a lie. Complete, complete lie. Don't believe a word that comes out of this man's mouth. All right, let's go and uh, talk with you, see what you've got for trade. Uh, right. Uh, nothing particularly super useful. Uh, we actually do need the cactus, as it happens. So, um, sure. I'll take all the cactus, and you can carry them with. You'll probably... Well, actually, yeah, you... you no, you are definitely over-encumbered now, so that's that's going to be a, a thing. Uh, but, Matt, I would like you to grab some more med kits. There we are. That is really good. In fact, how about, how about you move some of your food over to Matt? We could even possibly get a better med kit. Medical supplies. That, no, that's, um, no that's, that's medical supplies, not an actual med kit. Okay. Fair enough. All right, moving on. Got a little ways to go yet. I do want to see if we can't pick up a couple more backpacks, perhaps. Now, we are starting to run our, our initial money down, so we're probably not going to be doing too much more exploring. I was really hoping that we might be able to find someone who has uh, livestock for sale in the bar, but that, that did not turn out the way I'd hoped. All right, okay, well, uh, let's step up then. Now, that can have a... Uh, no, sorry, let, let's, let's wait. Let's wait, 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 wait. I want to move this across to Matt. Let's, uh, in fact, this is going to be so much easier if I just do it like this. Ah, I, I enjoy this system. I really do. Let's first open all of this up and move all of these things out where we can. Right, that's good enough for now. Almost. Almost good enough for now. Right, swap these bags back. Open bag. Ah, super duper useful. All right, Matt, you're going to be carrying around the majority of our food supplies. The others will not. There we go. It does mean you're going to be massively encumbered. You're going to slow down the whole group, which does suck. Because I really, really kind of want uh, you guys to be fast on your feet. But uh, we'll see how it goes. We've got an engineer's map. Mapped World's, World's End. World's End is an outland stronghold for the Mechanist University. Tech hunters use it as the main home base when exploring the north. That sounds really interesting. Sure, I'll buy that. Uh, what about this? Advanced first aid kit? Quality is really high, much higher than we need. Uh, we've got these that I could buy for a reasonably small amount, and it would allow us to stack a lot more stuff. That I'm tempted with. Location already known. That kind of library. Map of the border zone. Uh, town's way station. Uh, Attack hunter's map. Glorious holy city. Ooh. Oh, well. Yeah, I think I'll take that. I'm also going to grab uh, both of these. We can't afford this. Not anymore. But would this perhaps be better for Matt? I mean, it does drop your combat speed, stealth skill, all of the, all of the good stuff. But it would allow him to carry a lot more gear. So I think so, yes. There we go. Right, first and foremost then. So someone else is going to get that big backpack back to them. But first, let's uh, use up these maps. Wow, we've got a lot of places added to our map. So let's zoom right out. Whew. Okay. Holy Mines. We've got Stack, Bad Teeth. Yep. Loads of places. World's End all the way over there. That's a long way off. Okay. But we now know more about the Holy Nation. Or at least we know where they are. Which is super, super useful stuff, I feel. Uh, do I really want... Hmm. Actually, let me move these back. Because if I'm going to be giving Matt a different backpack, then first things first. Can I put things in the backpack? No. That is so sad. Uh, can I shut that back over? Yeah, I can. Okay, that's cool. Let's try and get all of this sorted out first. I only just, just sorted this, but oh well. Alright, open the bag. Now, you'll see why this is so good. It stacks items. As far as the backpacks go, if you're just using it to move something around, then that backpack is by far the best. Because of the, the fact that it'll stack things inside. There we go. Look how much, uh, I mean, it doesn't have as much room, visibly, but so much more room internally. 
There we are. Move these across. Arrange all my stuffs. We should be good. In fact, I'll, I'll move that over as well, because uh, Matt can very help. Can I? Yes, that's glorious. Matt can very helpfully uh, stack all of our medkits effectively. Okay, Big Al. Well, no, I'll give this to Ruka, because Ruka's pretty strong, so she's going to be uh, a little bit better at carting all of that around. That can move across to Matt as well. Um, Ruka, you can have one. I'd like everyone to have two items, I think, and then one in their backpack for the most part, just in case. I just take one? Yeah, there we go. Just in case. Uh, you're just going to have to carry two. That's fine, though. All right, it's good enough for now. And we are down to 4,000 cats. Not the greatest, certainly not. But still, I'm fairly happy with what we've managed to put together. Make sure you're moving as a group, please. And let's just head on out. Now, we've got to decide where we're going next. We've got a couple of options. We've got Way Station down there. It's a military outpost. We've got Admung. Oh, sorry, Admag across there. We want to go to cities more than anything. Bad teeth, though. Holy mines, holy mines, holy mines. So many holy places. Um, holy military base, holy farm. Now, the thing with uh, going to the Holy Nation, they are super xenophobic. They're fine with humans, not so fine with anybody else, though. So we're probably going to want to avoid heading there for the time being, or at least not this group of people, considering we've got so many Shek there. Uh, in fact, <laughs> it's an entire party of Shek, except for Avak. Though, from what I understand, that might be something we could pass. Uh, since if they started making a fuss, then Ava could, could just say, oh yeah, these are all my slaves. Uh, and they might bite that, but I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure when there's this many, whether they'd accept it. Though, if they're really xenophobic, then they'd be like, oh yes, yes, even though they're, they're much stronger than you and outnumber you uh, four to one, clearly... You are in control here, because they're just dumb animals, and they'll accept your authority, because you are clearly the alpha. Uh, yeah, xenophobia is strange. But, uh, nevertheless, we're going to head on over, hopefully, without incident to the next area. But I am going to take care... Oh, okay, we're going this way, very well. I'm going to take care to watch our path, because we are moving quite, quite slowly right now. The Sten Desert, eh? Oops, sorry, Matt. Just broke you off from the rest of the group, didn't I? All right, let's uh, let's see if we can't get up there and, and see if they are pleasant. Let's let's not get too close then, actually, otherwise we might encounter some issues. But it's a little bit of a camp. It's a very small camp. I like the design. Ah, see the curved, the bowed walls. Yes, yes, I approve of your design. Uh, it's quite a large place, though. It's uh, looks like it might be some sort of way station. Lots of beds out there. Maybe that's a bar or something. Uh, let's go and, go and uh, hang tight here. Keep an eye out on the surroundings, but uh, seems okay. All right, Avak, walk on up. Oh my lord, you run fast when, when it's just you. All right, hello? Hello? Is anyone going to attack me? No, nope. but it doesn't look like we've got a mechanical shop and a way station. Hmm. Okay, and this is a... Yeah, it is a military camp. Okay, looks like we're allowed in here. Excellent. Right, well, with that then, let's first go into the mechanical shop. I mean, there's no buildings here for me, but... Uh, take a look around. I will. You've got a lot of guards. Okay, I can see why this is deemed a military outpost. Look at the buy. Look at some ancient signs. Ooh. Well, I mean, I'm not right now, but eventually I will be. Uh, I'm looking for some ancient signs, but can't help you there, sorry. Uh, okay. Uh, let's trade. What have you got? You've got lots of science books, though. Uh, ran random furniture. <sighs> Is this already known? Oh, research already known. Wop, wop. Uh, basic furniture. This is not research already. Ah, finally, we've got the benches. Yes, I will pay for that. Roof decorations already known. And banners already known. So it's just a, a couple of odds and sods. We've got some cacti here. Got some cotton too. Uh, that price markup isn't so good here. Actually, that's, that's interesting. 
Uh, copper's a little bit better over here, but uh, overall, not not amazing. Okay. Uh, very well, let's go ahead and research this. Finally, we're going to have the ability for people to just rest. Okay, let's have a look in here. Oh, this is a pretty lively place. My goodness, loads of people in here. Let's have a look around. We've got... Your hair is amazing. Uh, I've got a couple of shack. Oh, plastic surgeon. Okay, now we know. Tengu. Stinks. What an interesting name. Uh, Atto. We can talk to, to things. Soto. Got Max, a vagrant. We've also got Kumo, a vagrant. Mercenary heavy. Mercenary. Tech hunter. Uh, diplomatic pacifier with the Shack Kingdom. Dirt, who is a drifter. And Claw, a tech hunter. Okay. Uh, but since there are mercenaries here, there's probably going to be a mercenary commander here somewhere as well. Vagrant. Drifter. And um, UC Pacifist, United Cities, yep. Okay, let's have a look upstairs. Anyone interesting up here? There's loads of people up here. Wow, this is a really busy place. Maybe one day when we've got our own uh, own uh, area, we will be as lucky to have a super... Oh, what is happening? Why are they all running down? Have a look at them. Ninja guard. Turret guard. Turret. Okay, something something bad is on the way. But we'll quickly uh, continue looking. We've got mercenary captain. There we are. So if we wanted to hire mercenaries to protect our holdings, we could. Whilst we're still a small group and perhaps uh, ill-equipped to protect ourselves, let's be honest. Uh, certainly we would be if we tried to set up a an outpost, but it appears to be some shenanigans going on out there. Ninja Guard going to bed. Oh, maybe it's just a change of shift. That would be pretty cool. Oh, I like what they've got. Alright, yeah. Yeah, they've got uh, a bunch of weapon systems. This is double-barreled harpoon turret. Okay, I can only imagine that would mess someone up. Uh, yeah, they've got a, a lot of things. They've got some searchlights, some... Harpoon turrets, all guarding the one entrance. I like this design. This is a pretty awesome design. I approve. All right, let's have a quick chat with you. See anything you like? Uh, I'll let you know in a second. I do, actually. World's End. We already know that location. That's fine, then. But I wouldn't mind for Matt here buying one of these. How much are they? Uh, only 147. Sure. Let's buy a couple, in fact. Yeah, that's fine. We've also got a, another sleeping bag. Sure, I'll grab another sleeping bag. That's fine by me. Uh, shade cover. Important for any traveler, these tents are easily constructed out of spare fabrics and could save your life in an ass. Oh. Then I accept. I haven't got any fabric, though. That's a shame. But that is actually pretty cool. Very cool, in fact. Okay, is that something I can just build in camping, then? Campfire, bed, buildings, outhouse, crafting, exterior, shade cover. Oh, wow, that's actually quite a large building. But, okay, you know, that, that's pretty cool, though. I, I find that really interesting. Acid storms. That's not something I realized was in the game, but it's kind of terrifying. Uh, we've got some vagrants here. Uh, a drifter. Pretty hungry. Uh... We go, well, yeah, let, let's have a let's have a chat with you. Hi, heading out of city. Need any recruits? Sure, I could use a new recruit. Yeah, but it'll cost you three thousand cats recruitment fee. Sort me out, drifter, and I'll follow you. No questions asked. Got any skills? Nah, not really. Forget it then. Uh, I want to talk to the others first. Who be you? I need help shoot uh, smoothing things over with the empire. You know where to find me. Oh, that's right. Yes. Uh, we've got Claw, Attack Hunter over there. We have Dirt. Let's go and talk with Dirt. Need a sword? I can be your sword. Sure, how much? 2,000 cats. What do you say? Mm, no thanks. Do I really not have enough? Oh, I don't actually. Yeah. Damn. I can make that money if I want to. Uh, we've got Vagrant there. Another Vagrant. 
There were some tag hunters down there I fancy talk to. Uh, stinks. Okay. You have a business? You have to hire some bodyguards. I need some mercenary. Ah, okay. So t you're, you're a tag hunter mercenary group. Right, right, right. Tengu, a drifter. What is it? You looking to join up? Yeah, I am. But it'll cost you 3000 Okay. I <laughs> can't have an entire group of shape. Uh, for now, then, let's quickly hop back to Hobbs. Well, it'll take a few seconds to finish up. Really? Hobbs, you got to stop making your your electronics from up there. Uh, however, I do approve in a little way, because you're quite close to this. There we are. Um, have we got copper over here? Yeah, we've got a, a little tiny bit of copper, actually. Uh, okay, well, Hobbs, I need you in the bar. I need to sell some stuff. Turn off your job for now. How's everything going, Miss Minnie? Probably decently, I imagine. Uh, stealth, 36, minus 6 because of armor encumbrance. That's fine, though. Now let's quickly use Hobbs to get a bit of cash, and then I can continue on. Because, uh, as everyone knows, in the, in the far forgotten past future of, of this, this alien world with, with too many moons, yeah, we we have some sort of system of electronic currency. It's uh, the cats are Schrodinger's cats. We just have boxes, and inside there are either no cats or all of the cats that we own. And it's it's just, it's kind of a trust based system. We just get hand over a box, and someone's like, "Oh, okay, well, open it up," and it's exactly the right amount of cats every single time. Uh, we've we've played around with some sort of universal. Uh, Constance, hey, don't ask. It, it, it's why the the world is destroyed, probably. All right, let, show me what you got. Uh, I don't actually want to buy anything, though. I want to sell. Uh, no, I don't want to sell my building materials. Ha ha, no. I worked hard for those. What I do want to sell, though, are all of these. There we are. And I guess all of this, just so I got the money. Sure. That'll do. It'll help out a little bit. Uh, n n you you sell ninja? Oh, damn it! I totally I totally shouldn't have stolen. I feel so bad about that guy. So so bad. Uh, right. Okay, that's good enough. You can go back to your job now, and you can also sneak while you're doing it. Thank you. Right. Let's head over. I wouldn't mind getting. Sure. Let's let's get another scorchlander. You looking to join up? Hopefully you are. I am, but it'll cost you three thousand cats. You're hired. There we go. Dirt! That is not your name. You are, in fact, Jin. Welcome to the team, Jin. There we go. Let's have a have a look at you, then. Uh, in terms of your stats, you're pretty much just one on everything. That's what I expected. It's fine. Uh, you have got a katana, though, and I'm glad to see that. So, sure. Let's get the whole group together. There we go. Uh, the game is a little bit choppy today. I may have some things running on the background, or, or perhaps just my room is a little bit... Actually, my room is quite hot. Uh, so, uh, I might need to, uh, to clean out my PC. Um, yeah, the process is running a little bit warm. It's up in the 70s. There we go. And, and we're in a fairly different area. We've now got two groups very far apart. Ooh. What is this? Someone out there? Hmm. I don't see him. Don't see them if they are. Okay, well that was uh, that was pretty cool. So we've got a little little camp there. Let's head down to the exile camp though. So we've got the exiles are just kind of camped out there. All right. I'm game. Let's see. They might not be enemies. No, in fact, it doesn't look like they are. I don't think. All right. Let's get uh, our group down there. There we go. You can just wander over. And the closer you get, the, the better I can look at it. Building market tent big. Construction complete. Well done, Hobbs. Well done. You can go back to making electronics, though, so we can make lots of money. I imagine these are... Oh, Band of Bones. That sounds interesting. You've got a very interesting name. Get in there and have a quick look. Okay. Okay. You are extremely capable. Oof. You're really, really capable. My lord. That's a good group of you, too. 
Okay. You've got a little... You've actually got a little training area. My lord. It's training dummy three as well. Okay. What kind of stuff do you got? I don't know. I'm not really sure that we want to mess with them, but I'm, I'm game. Well, we'll see. Let's, uh, let's get someone down there, but I'm probably going to send one of my... One of my shackles. Uh, also, sneak. Let's, let's have the whole group be stealthy for now. Ruka. Well, actually, you've got your horns shaved off, so maybe not. Manu. I'm sorry, Ruka. I, I, do your horns grow back or something? I hope so. All right, let's, uh, let's go and have a quick chat. Oh. Can we talk to you? Yeah, we should be able to talk. Let's go and have a word. And if things go south, we can just run back to that uh, that area. Hello. You. You stare at my horns? You have the gold to gawk at Shag Warrior's horns? You must have the fight to back it up. Uh, why don't you have horns like... Oh. Oh, dear. Oh. The intruder. Did you really not notice me until I was, like, right there? I didn't mean to stare. Of course. You want to rumble? Then let's go. Uh, no. No, no, no. No, no. Um... I didn't mean to stay. I, I literally wasn't there. Hmm. Keep your eyes to the filth, outcast. Uh, okay. Oh dear. That that was unfortunate. Stay out of my way. Yeah, they 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 want to rumble. That that I guess I should have sent Ruka. Actually, damn, damn me and second guessing myself. All right, none of you should have jobs. Also, none of you should be on range. Also, now none of you should be sneaking. Run. You're gonna get there very quickly. Don't don't run as a group. Ru just sprint. Leg it. All right, Manu, how how are you doing? You took a blow to the chest, but you are fast. Are they as fast? They might be. No, they are not. So just you can easily outpace them. Uh, I missed what they said just then. Let me have a quick look at that. I do like this actually. Keep your eyes to the filth, outcast, and then stay out of my way. And that, that was all you said. Uh, very well. Okay, well, actually, I can have a quick look at the, the faction as well. Band of Bones. Starving Bandits, Band of Bones. Uh, okay. Are they still coming? I mean, they might not be. We could possibly get in there and go for a fight. Mm. I mean, you did attack me. You know what? Maybe. Let's let's regroup. If you want to keep coming, then we will fight you. In fact, Manu, turn on ranged. Get over here. Get to there. How about turn on ranged? Get to there. Let's keep our group in a reasonably good position. Uh, actually, Manu, you can draw back a little bit more. Get them over here. You guys stand to the side. Uh, I want you to hold position means the selected character won't run off to fight enemies, even to protect his allies. He will hold his position and only attack the enemy that comes into close range. Yes. Also be on block for now. You two definitely hold position. Uh, go ahead, get into position there. Thank you. And then Avak, just move to the side. I'm going to try and be a little bit more tactical in this fight. I can scarcely see where the enemy is, though. Oh, there we are. Thankfully, he's kicking up a lot of dust as he moves. All right, there we go. And you two are already in oh, This is glorious. All right, attack the target. Now, this may summon the entire camp over, or it might not. I might even be able to have Ruka just uh, slide in there and attack. Um, should I have Ruka try and do that? Maybe. No, there is no way you can do that. Uh, though that being said, sometimes it doesn't update. No, no, there's absolutely no chance. Oh, wait. You were blocking... And you? No, you can't. All right, I might, it might be time for us to uh, have everyone head in now and attack. Everyone attack target. Get over there. Fight. Oh, man, you guys are so bad. All right, switch off ranged. And go into regular attack mode. Now, this is going to hurt. You are going to do a good, healthy wallop of damage to us. Ouch. Right in the leg. Okay, good blocking. There's quite a few of us here, so... Oh, wow. Wow, that was... That was a little bit brutal, honestly, guys. You just massively... Massively ganged up on him. Uh, by the way, Matt, I'm going to want you to be a medic. 
And um, I think, yeah, everyone should have a medic roll. Absolutely everyone. At the very least. But definitely take this uh, this fella down first if you can. Okay, he's doing good with blocks. Ooh! Wow, that hurt. That really hurt, actually. You're doing good, though. But, oof. That huge chop of his. Well blocked there, Avak. Nice in the back. We need to uh, stagger him if we can. Oh, he's going for an attack on... Ooh, 29 plus 7 there. And then on Matt. In the stomach. Ruka. Managed to block, but Avak got hit by uh, AoE still. Now, this is, this is showing us what the difference is with a high attack. He's almost 10 points higher than our highest. Any of his friends coming over? No, not yet. Uh, his defense is pretty high, too. Which is the problem. But good training, I think. If nothing else. Keep it up, guys. There we go. Perhaps we should have led him a little bit closer to the, uh, to the outpost first. Ooh, nasty. Alright, let's have a look at, at our people. Okay, not too bad so far. Ooh, you're getting a little bit rough, but actually not. On the whole, it isn't... Ooh, okay, I take it back. That, that was pretty, pretty awfully brutal. Let's get right in there and have a good look. This is a massive, massive group battle here. I really like how pretty this game is sometimes. There we go. Uh, those occasional blocks are fantastic because there's only, only one attack that he has, whereas uh, we get a couple of people in, and every time you stagger him, that's fantastic because he loses a couple of uh, opportunities to hit, which are super important. Get in there. Oh, no. Oh, no. Someone's already gone down. Have you, or you just staggered? Um, you were just staggered, I think. Everyone get in there. Ooh, another one. Oh, that is a nasty chopping weapon, though. That's doing a hell of a lot of damage, I can only imagine. Uh, we have massively reduced his, uh, his uh, body parts here. We need to take off a leg or an arm or something. Or possibly even hit the head. If we could get a couple of points on the head, yeah, we're, we're nowhere near that, unfortunately. Ouch, Matt is down. Yep, minus 22 there. Oh, there we go. Head blow, couple of blows to the stomach as well. Can we knock him out if we do enough damage to his stomach? His stomach is now at zero. What is... Oh, got to get it down to minus 33. It's going to be a bit rough. Lots of blows to the chest there. And he's down. How long, though? Blood loss is pretty, pretty nasty there. All right, okay, patch everyone up. As quickly as you can, please. Then we're going to retreat and set up a camp. Uh, Ruka, whilst you're doing anything else, I need you to quickly loot him. I want to take that armor. Uh, also, I'll take the med kit as well. Uh, combat cleaver. We've got a 100% stealing chance. Armor penetration, 30%. Damage versus robots, plus 25. Damage versus animals, not really much. We'll grab it. Shirt, martial arts bindings. Ooh. Samurai leggings. Heavy armor, though. Well, we've got a bunch of people who are going to need this sort of stuff, so I'm going to take it all so that we've got some gear for our, our new our new people here. But I'm pretty happy to see the the uh, martial arts bindings. Got to be honest, that's, that's rather awesome. All right, let's make sure that everyone is okay. It's going to take you a little while to get back on your feet there, there Matt, but uh, thankfully Big Al is doing a good job of taking care of you. Is anyone else needing tending? Yeah, we've got a couple of people who need tending, actually. So let's uh, allow this to go on. Um, we can allow you to just wake up, honestly. It doesn't really matter too much to me. Uh, so what I'm going to do is... Uh, ooh, Matt has got the, the sleeping bag. So let's set up a little campfire right there. Then a couple of camp beds. Uh, it doesn't need to be too much. I could go over closer to the... Area up top if I really wanted to. Could absolutely do that, and it probably would be wise. I'm not going to, though, because I'm the dumb. Uh, I'm going to give you a job for engineering as well. And if you could take some of the sleeping bags off mat. In fact, all of the sleeping bags off mat. Then uh, you should be able to get to building all of those. And in fact, I'm going to add in the find, rescue, and place. Oh god, why won't it stop bleeding? Who's bleeding? No one should be. How's this guy? 
Uh, he's actually going to recover. He will recover. So we could then immediately just beat people up if we wanted to. Uh, let's quickly get these beds made. And then... Oh, dust storm coming in. Uh, I think... Let's have a look. Yeah, it's just a regular dust storm. Uh, hopefully... Uh, oh, are you going to... Put him in a bed? No? Okay. Put him in bed. Please and thank you. There we go. So we're just going to camp out here. And whoever needs a bit of healing... Uh, Matt's already healing. So, sure, Jin, go ahead, sleep. We'll get Big Al sleeping as well. And Ruka, you can have the first sleep out of the uh, extremely combat-capable people here. Uh, right, Manu. Manu and Avak are on watch for now. They're going to have to guard the group, make sure that everything is okay. The, the fire, just keep them warm, really. Not really necessary, because it, it's uh, daybreak. And Matt is almost fully healed. Everyone else has been up for a little while. It is uh, almost nightfall on the 25th day. We've been out for a day and a half, basically. We did take the time to patch up this scallywag, mostly, so that uh, we wouldn't end up with any, uh, any uh, band of bones blood on our hands, which may cause that faction to dislike us uh, more. Though, at the moment, it doesn't seem to be that bad i'll be perfectly honest and it gave matt an opportunity to use his uh his healing a little bit there there we go matt let's uh, disassemble this and pick that up and make sure it's stored in your backpack we are ready to go uh actually let's let's not be uh be silly and just leave these out there let's get rid of those as well so that uh, we don't cause any crazy crazy fires because all of the foliage around here what little there may be looks super super dry okay so we're going to be heading on now to the great fortress. Oh, well, actually, no, let's go to Admag. Uh, the episode has already run quite a lot longer than I was expecting, if I'm perfectly honest. And I would very, very much like it if we could get everyone together and uh, wrap things up at a new city. I've been reasonably pleased with what we've managed to do in terms of uh, exploring, honestly. That was actually pretty cool. We've uh, encountered a new faction as well, which is no small thing. Really? Why are you rushing ahead? Will you please all get to get... Oh, right, 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 because I'm a derp. I'm a massive derp. Is anyone over there? Or is that just... Out no, that's just outside the uh, the actual way station. We've got some nice stars over there. Again, oh my lord, that, that one particular music track is so loud compared to every other one that there is. I have no idea why, but it is quite quite uh, disorienting in a way. Right, I'm gonna I'm gonna risk going to the higher speed level. Honestly, I have not seen any any particular problem with that. Um, I am laying down safety saves in between cuts just so that I can run the game on its highest speed while I'm just passing time and waiting for for things to build up. Um, I am a little bit impatient and, and so far I have not had a single crash. So the People who have advised me to be cautious of that, I am still keeping that in mind. Ooh, we've discovered a ruin. Really? So we have. Ooh, we've also discovered what looked like hmm, some sort of footprints. Are those what are known as nests? Let's uh, head over and have a quick look. So I believe creatures actually do nest in areas. I don't see anything, though. Not seeing anything in particular there. Uh, maybe not. Maybe not. I, I believe there are there are like world nests where creatures tend to spawn from. Something along those lines. Is there anything down there? Maybe. Um, I'm not sure. I can't see anything. Oh no no! Oh, I can see some bone dogs. Are there many bone dogs? There are a couple of bone dogs. Oh. Okay. Well, just as well I noticed that then. Uh, right. Let's grab you. We're going to go up to, to this room, because we were about to walk straight through there. Wow, that would have been bad. That would have been super bad. I do want to wrap things up in the city, but how can I say no to a ruin? Oh yeah, I can see the ruin just over there. Let's keep our eye out, though, for any wandering uh, peoples nearby who might cause us some difficulties. Let's keep a close eye as we approach. We've got some copper there. Uh, what's that? That is also copper. Well, not great quality, 
Neither of them, actually, but not terrible either. Okay. Is there anyone in here? Anything moving around? It's auto saving. Good, good, good. Uh, oh. Ooh. Raw stone, a fragment axe. We're not going to be picking up stone tools. Raw iron, a damaged buck, water jug. Oh, there's something over there, though. Hmm. All right. Well, let's uh, have the whole group just gather up on this spot. And then I'm going to send Avak to go. Can I not get that, perhaps? Oh, dear. Something is attacking us. What, though? What's coming for us? I should have been sneaking. The moment I approached. What have we got coming for us? Is it a group from over here, maybe? Um, no, this is a traders group. A caravan guard, alright. Maybe I could run toward them. They don't appear to be hostile. Uh, alright, let, let's... Uh, let's flee in this... Okay, something just hit me. Ah, okay. Bone dogs, how fast are you? Run speed is 14. How fast is Matt? Oh, no! Matt, why? Um, it's the encumbrance. Okay. Okay, Matt. You know what? I'm going to spread this out. In fact, I'm going to just give that to Avak. Avak may be able to carry that. Oh, no. Avak is now super, super slow. Uh, so we do need to share that out a bit. Alrighty. So I'm going to hand this to... Actually, let me... How heavy is this? That's not four kilos. That's a lot. Who's got the best sort of carry? Actually, Matt isn't bad with it. Okay, goes to Matt. I would like... Who got hit? Ruka did. Okay, Ruka, I want you to be legging it over to these caravan guards. Bigal, likewise leg it. Manu, leg it. The others... Avak, go this way. If you can, oh, that's going to take you off. Oh, mm. See, this is the problem. Uh, Matt running that direction. Jin running that direction as well. Just spread out if you can. Maybe draw them out. It looks like they're not going for Matt. They really want to go for... No, no, one is going for Matt. Okay. So, Jin, I'm going to need you to hold back just a moment. All right. Oh, no, no, no. They're spreading out. Okay. Keep it up. If they're going to back off. That's great. Uh, Ruka is still being focused, though. Okay, let's just have you all regroup over here. Near to the, the guards. I hope they're not going to attack me as well. Uh, no, they don't they Don't appear to. Fantastic. Oh, thank goodness. It looks like we might have just uh, appeared here at exactly the right moment. Let's have everyone form up near the guards. If we need to... Uh, yeah, the wolves are not are not bothering us. Oh, whew. that could have gone really badly. All right, you guys uh, quickly apply jobs. I believe medic is always on, even if jobs is not. Uh, they're going over here. I would love to have a chat with you, if that's all right. Can we get over there and have a chat with you? Maybe even lure you toward... Well, no, not lure you toward the, the dogs, but definitely wouldn't mind her if you uh, killed the dogs for us. That would not be a problem. I can hear something growling. Right, let's get you just ahead. I'm going to have Avak have a quick chat. Need met? Need rations? I got her all for a price. So you do. So you do. I'm going to sell this with you to you. Uh, shop. Oh, you can't afford it. Well, poop. Uh, I will, however, accept all of these for now. Then I'll sell you that. You made you made decent money off me, but uh, food cube as well. Do we actually need food? Hmm. Sort of, but they're super expensive. Uh, what are these rations? They're even better though. They're actually much better for what we get out of it. Yeah, I'm gonna grab one of those. Okay, well, that's good enough for me. Thank you. Where are those those wolves, though? Are they still here, anyway? Because if you end up fighting them, 
I would really, really happily get involved in that. Let's move up, because that would be a lot of food. Got a load of stuff around here. Let's uh, get you down here. Avak, I want you to go and grab that, please. Can you get in there? There we go. Anything else? Uh, some fabric. Go grab that. Uh, anything else? A damaged book. I mean, maybe. Go grab the tools though first. Uh, we could we could sell a bunch of this actually. Let's have a look at this first though. Uh, okay, rusty chainmail and uh, also tools. Uh, a pack of tools can be used to cut through locks and remove slave shackles. They tend to break pretty often and are usually discarded after use. Well, that's not bad at all. Uh, Matt, sorry, but you have got the stacking backpack. There's a reason for that. Uh, right, so you're going to have all of these. And the tools are going to stay here. But this rusty chainmail, let's have a look at you. Medium class armor. Uh, what's this? That's light class armor. Um... It's got amazing coverage, though. Who would I like to have that? You've got blackened chain shirt. What kind of malice is that? I think that's going to be for Ruka. Standard grade blackened... Uh, sorry, uh, chainmail vest there. Mano, you've got blackened chain shirt. Um, Big Al, you've already got something that I would rather you keep. Uh, Jin. You're already going to get a little bit of an upgrade straight away. How marvellous. There we go. Uh, could you pop all of these into your backpack? Thank you. Your encumbrance is going up very fast. Which I'm not as keen on, but uh, oh well. Alright, let's uh, continue on our way then. We've got to get to this, this base before too long, surely. Can we make it? No? Well, that's vexing. Where is it? It's over there. Can we get down there at all? We're going to have to go down this path. Alright. Well, that might take us past some nasties. I fear. Or we could go around this way. I mean, the, that caravan definitely came over here from somewhere. Where it came from, I'm not entirely sure how it got up there, that is. Maybe they could have gotten down there, but... Oh well. Either way, we are on our way over to a new city to find out what we can find out about the place. Uh, we may have to flick back to the other group to sell some items before too long or we're going to have to pass pa past the, uh, the group really close that nest and I'm not happy about that. Maybe we'll just move through this uh, snaking pass. I think that might be a, a wise idea. Also, I think we're probably going to sneak so uh, I'm going to go ahead and make my way over to that city. If anything should happen, then I will bring you back. But otherwise, we're going to make a very cautious and slow approach. And then I'll bring you back, hopefully, when we're there, without having, yeah, I don't know, lost any legs or, in fact, any lives. I, I'm okay with losing legs as long as the lives aren't lost, generally speaking. We're right next to this place. It looks uh, pretty interesting. We've discovered... Oh, it's a hive village. Really? Or have we... Oh, no, no, no. We've discovered a new place. Ah, okay. This is pretty cool. Right, we want to be inside there, and that is where we're going to get to. Let's speed things along. We should, I'm hoping, be safe now. How do we get in? Where is the in, in way? The in way is over here. Very well. Let's uh, at least get to the front, and we will explore this city in the next episode, I think, because time has run away with me. Ah, oh, exploring has been fun, I must say. I've, I've actually enjoyed our little wander there. We haven't really spotted anywhere I'd want to uh, set up a camp or anything like that, but we have greatly increased our little group here. I'm, I'm pretty, pretty happy with that, I must say. But that's going to be it from me. So until next time, and as always, do take care, everyone.